Welcome to my new set of videos on the new GWM tank. This is going to be a three-part series with part one being a quick walk around while we were on launch and speaking a little bit about pricing and performance. Part two will be everything off-road, what it's capable of, all of its features, all of its tricks, everything that it's got to offer. And then part three is going to be an actual review of the car when I have it on test for a week. So I'll get to know it. I'll drive it every day. I'll know its nuances. I'll know its tricks. I'll know its flaws. And I'll report everything back to you. But for now, enjoy part one. This is a walk around of the new GWM tank. Hey guys, today I'm with the new GWM tank. It's their new premium utilitarian off-roader. Like I said, with premium features, it's got hybrid technology and just overall great value for money. Let's check it out. So here it is, and I absolutely love the way that it looks. And I think it just comes down to how different this front end is, even though the rear part is very familiar other off-roader, but I think this is where it stands out. You've got this really cool grill with these horizontal lines, with these like integrated daytime running lights, and when they switch on, they've got this cool little sequence, really dope. And that is the new tank logo. Yep, that's the T for tank and the U for, yeah, you like the actual person so you and the car together adventuring having fun that's what it's all about it's got these contrasting plastic bumpers that go all the way around so unfortunately they aren't metal they are plastic but they've got integrated fog lights and led matrix headlights which is really cool for a car like this in this price bracket which i'll get to so underneath these flared arches you've got 17 inch wheels you've got these really extended side steps and these extra bold and ready to go adventuring roof racks that work and you can actually put things on top there thankfully and here from the back you've got the very familiar squared off off-roader design but i think what's cool what they've done differently is you've got these vertical led rear tail lights they've got the gloss black surrounds it really stands out again i'm pretty happy with the way that this car's been designed i like it a lot um, you've got obviously the spare wheel it is the tank 300 and there you go this is the hybrid electric version again i'll chat a little bit more about the drivetrain a little bit just now but yeah this is it overall let's have a look at the front again yeah man i'm really growing to like the design of this and when i speak about the price point i think you'll understand why you're going to see a lot of them on the road and then taking a look at the inside Yo, tell me down in the comments, did you expect it to look this good inside of here? Yeah, when I saw it for the first time, I didn't either. And I know that's what you're going to say. You're going to say you didn't expect it to look this good. Don't lie. <laughs> so you've got a full leather interior. And just like the P-Series, you've got the quilted leather seats. They really do add the details that make an interior look premium, even though it's coming in at a much cheaper price point. So here you've got the full leather steering wheel, the tank logo, all the buttons you need to activate and work through this dual digital infotainment over here with some pretty what do you call that inspired german design <laughs> right but even though it might look german and inspired by some other cars what i can say is the build quality far surpasses those german cars nothing shakes nothing squeaks this doesn't move yeah they should take a note from the tank on how to build a super strong interior because i know that this isn't going to bump and rattle after a couple hundred thousand k's i can feel pretty confident about that and again looking more at the inside here let me just move this out the way for you you've got some more vents some additional buttons here and down there you're able to activate and go through your different climate controls so that it's yes it's built into the infotainment but you are able to access it quickly over there USBs, wireless charging, there's your different drive modes that you're able to go through. Here you'll select your all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four high, four low, everything like that. This very radical gear selector, which for me is one of the standout features of this interior. I absolutely love that. And if I move these snacks out the way, you'll see the center armrest. When you open it up, you've got this bin that slides forward to reveal your cup holders underneath here. And then quite a big storage bin down there very very useful and it's all about the attention to detail look here contrast stitching you've got this really nice like aluminium feeling center here yes it's all plastic but it looks good 
and it feels rock solid. You've got some of these exposed bolts just to give it that extra utilitarian feel to it, which goes across onto the doors too. Again, more contrast stitching, soft touch materials. They really have thought about everything in here. And they know that people are looking for value for money. And I think this is where you're going to find it. You've also got a sunroof. It's not a big panoramic one. But again, it's the thought that counts. There at least is one. And up front here, you've got a space for your sunglasses. And then everything to operate the sunroof and lights and everything like that. Okay, and then into the back. Oh, it's a little bit tight to get in there. Obviously that wheel arch makes it quite tight to get in as you <laughs> may have noticed but yeah man there's so much space back here Let's look at that all this leg room here i can put here you can fit an entire fist in front very comfortable just as luxurious and premium as it is up front there you've got some space for things grab handles fully stitched interior yeah man, this is a really, really cool car. Check that out. GWM tank. And then looking at the boot, you will push that little button over there, and it opens up. Check that out. Okay. The space and reasons to look into getting this car just continues. And once you drop those seats down, when they go down, Damn seatbelt. Let's see if this one goes all the way. Yeah, that's all. Huh? Pretty impressive load cavity here. Lots of space to put whatever you need to, to go do your off-roading. Obviously tie points here to, to whatever you need to secure. And I did see some additional things in the door and some spaces in the pockets. Very nice. And then these are the colors to choose from. So you've got black, orange, gray, white, and red. <laughs> no, that's not red. That's Mars red. So it's the only one with a strange color name. <laughs> that's so weird. But yeah, Mars red, orange, white, black, and gray. And then onto the pricing and performance. So the model that we were driving here on launch was the hybrid electric version, which comes equipped with 255 kilowatts and 648 newton meters of torque. But then in terms of pricing, the standard petrol will launch from 725,950 Rand, where this hybrid is gonna set you back 851,950 Rand. So thanks for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed part one. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss out on part two and three. And if you did enjoy it, please will you drop a like below. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.